All right, everyone, so we just got all the plants removed from last year's fall containers, and we're about to replant them up this year. However, this is a brown and white colored pot, and we really like the idea of having a solid black. Uh, these are about three years old now, these pots. They've kind of uh, shown some distress and some aging from all the weather and the sun, you know, and the rain here in Florida. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use just this universal flat paint and primer all-in-one spray paint. We're gonna spray paint it black real quick, and then we're gonna get them potted up. So let's see how this goes. When spray painting containers, we find that it's best to make even passes with a controlled speed and then come back through and touch up the areas that may need a second coat of paint. Okay, so we got both containers painted black, so we're gonna go ahead and get some potting soil and some compost mixed it together and, and fill these containers and get them ready for their plants. So let's get that going. When it comes to selecting the soil for your container planting, it's best to do some research on your local growing conditions and select a growing medium that will work with you for the entire season. For example, if you live in a drier climate, you may opt for a growing medium that will retain moisture, allowing more time between waterings. Here in Tampa, Florida, we're in growing zone 9B and we receive over 55 inches of rain annually, so we tend to use a growing medium that is well draining to minimize our chances of root rot and drowning out our plants. Our local nursery had already sold through the plants we wanted to use in this project, so we bought the hanging baskets that have the exact same plants and divided them up to use in our containers. While it's true that their growth may be stunted for about a week, they'll bounce back in no time, which you'll see in just a moment. Now that these are planted, we can move on to the landscape. But before we do, we fed Penelope and her kitten that we've named Leia. We discovered her a couple weeks back, and she has now made our garden her permanent home. Getting back to the garden, we laid the annuals out in their new locations, and once we liked what we saw, we got to work planting them in the ground. We're planting them with the help of our Twist and Plant gardening auger, which will greatly reduce the time it takes to get this project crossed off of our to-do list. Normally, we'd be adding the premium continuous release fertilizer to the planting site of each of these plants, but we'll be using the biotone until our local nursery is able to get it restocked. We'll go ahead and get these plants in the ground, and we'll be back in just a few moments with the next project on today's list of things to tackle. We've learned over the years of working with plants from proven winners that you don't need as many plants as you think you do to fill up the garden bed. It may look like there's a lot of space between each of these plants, but this flower bed will be full before you know it, and we just need to exercise a little bit of patience. Good soil right here. Let's move on to our final project for the day and plant up these containers by our front walkway. For the thriller, we're using one of our favorite coleus plants called Wicked Witch from the Proven Winners Color Blaze series. 
for one of the fillers, we're using a garden mum called Autumn Sunset. We're using another plant called Superbina Whiteout that will actually work as both a filler and a spiller. Lastly, for the true spiller of these containers, we're incorporating a plant called Dichondra Silver Falls. These are actually one of our personal favorites for hanging baskets or containers and plan to use them again in upcoming projects. We then quickly duplicated this look in the second container before coming through and giving all of these plants a good drink of water. We love that we're on a well for our home garden, even though we have a hard water profile. We just usually refrain from watering our plants in a way that gets the foliage wet, with the exception being right after we plant them. We will, however, give the plants a quick bath to wash off any of the potting mix that may have settled on the leaves during planting. Here we are a few weeks later, and you can immediately see how happy these plants are. It didn't take long for the plants to fill in the empty spaces of the container, and we've enjoyed how they started mixing together. The Superbina Whiteout is getting ready to explode with more flowers, and it does a great job of hiding the spent flowers without the need to deadhead them. It's even giving this coleus a run for its money and growing into any available spaces. The Autumn Sunset Garden Mums quickly put on growth and we were treated to a beautiful display of color just one week later. Even after being torn out of the hanging baskets that came in, the Superbina Royale Romance were no exception. You can also see that the Snow Princess Lobularia were a tremendous success for us in these containers. It is worth mentioning that not everything is always a success, such as these beautiful Shadowland Diamond Lake Hostas. We'd love to give these plants another try in well-draining containers, but for the time being, get a good look at them while you can because it's the only time you'll see them. Shortly after this, they were drowned by too much rain. Getting back to the containers though, just look at how gorgeous these plants are doing. Even the Supertunia black cherry petunias that were planted in the landscape really began to take off. In addition to their beauty, the fragrance of these plants immediately greets you as soon as you come into this area. The flowers will be weighed down after a good rainstorm, but stand right back up once they dry out. We enjoyed how the plants began to grow together into a beautiful floral tapestry. Even Petunia had to stop and admire their beauty. Believe it or not, what you see here is only one Supertunia black cherry plant. Even after below freezing temperatures that took out a few plants that you see on the right, these plants were completely unfazed. Luckily, after a quick garden bed cleanup, everything began to look good as new again. We'll link the original video for this garden bed if you haven't already seen it yet. This purple crinum lily needed a quick haircut and it always fills back out in just a few weeks. These lobularia are about as close to the look of snow on the ground that you'll get here in Tampa, Florida. While we were here in this garden bed, we noticed all of the new growth on the Steady As She Goes gardenia shrub we planted just two episodes ago. We will enjoy these plants for a few more weeks before we switch them out for the new season. In the next video, we pick up where we left off in the back garden next to our raised vegetable garden beds that we just installed. Until then, thank you for watching and we'll be back next week.